Welcome to Saturday morning chocolate and coffee. And welcome to the replay. Good morning. Do not mind the girl screaming in the background. There's really no one screaming. Break Brand is up watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre. When I'm just dreaming of a farmhouse Christmas, I mean, I'm not entirely sure how that all happened. But um, that is the difference between me and the hubby. He thrives on Halloween and I thrive on Christmas. But anywho... So Woo! Hold on, shows, you guys. Yikes. Shows. There it goes. Um, I was trying to find the live on YouTube. Oh, my gosh. Why is it so loud? Was I watching something and I forgot? <laughs> Hi, Kathy Toms. Hi, Michelle Oz Olson. Hi, Christine. All on YouTube. How are you guys? Um, let's check out Facebook. Let's see what we got going on here. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Joyce. Good morning, Betty. Good morning, Julie and Cindy. Hello, hello, hello. I am up. Hi, Cat White. Um, I am up and I am in a Christmas mood. My raid down of the day is my Red Believe. Thank you, Beth, for hooking me up with this. And I've got, of course, my very easily skimping of my Starbucks holiday blend. And then look, even my hubby got me a coffee too. And this is Colombian, right baby? Yes. It's Colombian. So I'm sorry I was not on live last night, you guys. <sighs> Kitchen isn't done. Womp womp. Um, but we did have some running around to get some last minute things. Some things that, you know, as we whittled down the order, things that weren't right, like as they were putting cabinets in. So we were busy running around doing a bunch of stuff yesterday, getting cleaning supplies because we had anticipated on being able to clean today. Looks like it's going to get pushed back a day. Um, so that's fine. It's, I was, I mean, it's not, I was, I th big brand was like, you run on so many different extremes. Like I was super running on a super high yesterday morning. Cause I was like, yay, it's getting done. And then slowly, but surely <laughs> I was super low, but you know what? I need to stop. And I said, I was done my pity party. I'm coming live because I had my pity party on this morning. So I'm done the pity party. I'm excited. It's going to be done. It's going to be great. We'll be cooking in there in no time. I'm just so tired of ordering out. I'm so tired. You know, some I've heard so many people say, oh my gosh, I wish I could just order out every day. No, you don't want that. You definitely don't want that because A, your clothes don't fit you. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll be living in leggings for like the next six months. Um, and B... Your body is super sluggish. Like, I have not been able to stay up late. I get up early in the morning, but, like, early in the morning isn't helping me with what I want to do. Do you know what I mean? Like, I still have to get little Bram ready for school. There's only so much I can do before I have to get him up. And it just interferes with the day. So, like, ugh, ordering out every day. And it costs a small fortune, okay? Like, let's be real. Like, I could go and spend $300 for two or three weeks worth of food at the supermarket or you spend $300 in a week because you're ordering out so much. So, like, no, I'm done with this. I need to just be cooking and having homemade meals and go back to feeling like normal and know what's going in it. And I'm just going to believe, see what I did there? That it's all done today. Well, with the exception of, like, the decorated, decorative pieces, like the crown molding and all that stuff. But we're good. We're good. I'm done. I'm done. I just, I fill you guys in on everything. So I was giving every everybody an update. Um, oh, thank you, Betty. You're so sweet. Let's see. Who did I miss coming in? Hi, Sharon. Hi, Gail. Hi, Nicole Hawkins. Hi, Megan. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Dawn Marie. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Lourdes. How are you? Thank you for sharing, Lourdes. You are the best. 
Um, there we go. Um, let's see. Do we have anybody else on YouTube? That Oh, my goodness. Yes. Good morning, Sherry Olson and Michelle Olson, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I know, Michelle. Michelle Olson says to you, babe, Texas Chainsaw Massacre this early in the morning. I couldn't finish it last night because you didn't want to. Oh, yeah. That was my fault because he wanted to watch it last night, but I was like, I can't handle Texas Chainsaw Massacre because I'm in a womp, in a womp womp mood. Um, I'm Kathy, it's everything has to be finished by November 28th. So it has to be done by then. If not, we have huge issues. Um, we have to have the upstairs kitchen done. Um, I mean the upstairs bathroom done. Uh, it's gotta be done. There's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's gotta be done. Good morning, Laura. Um, I went to Target last night and got a huge loot. I was so excited. It was the first time I've been there in a while and they were putting out all the new stuff. Christine, I can't wait. You guys, I've been there two other days this week and I have stuff. It's just, I can't bring it in because everything is everywhere. So I'm going to try to attempt to do it today. Even if I have to do my haul from my car, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. So yes, there's that. So anyway, hi, Rosemary. Hi, Char. Hey, hey, Ashley. Um, hi, Chrissy Anderson. Hi, Mimi. Good morning. So as you guys are coming in, um, number, let's do that. Let's work like this. So if this is your first time hearing about Chalk Couture or your first time, you may have heard of Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with a designer, please put a one down below. If you're already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below. Um, if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is that share button. I would love it if you click share. Also, right on Facebook while you're there, please be sure you like my fan page. Hit that big thumb, thumbs up and make sure you turn the notifications on so you know when I go live. If you're catching me on YouTube, under the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be the share button. Once again, if you're not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you'd share my video. Um, and right next to that share button is also the subscribe button. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I go live. Um, if you are looking to follow me, oh, if you're watching me live, please say hashtag live. If you're catching the replay, please say hashtag replay. If you're looking to follow me on social media, my YouTube channel is Crafted and Stampin'. No G's. We dropped the G's in New Jersey. Um, so just go and search my channel name. All one word, okay? My Instagram is exactly the same, Crafted and Stampin', okay? So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I always post my project pictures on there. I do some other project updates. So definitely catch me there. Now, if you want to follow me on Facebook, it's Chalk Couture with Jessica. My blog posts shoot on over from there. Um, blog posts, projects, when I go live, when there's updates on awesome sales, which we have some amazing sales happening in, in November. Um, you're getting a, there's a sale going on right now. All the last chance items, last chance love it's called. There's 20% off all the last chance items in my online store. I put the online store in the comments below and I will be sure to pin it afterwards. So now that I went over all of that, I'm going to pop a little something up on the screen. So that way, um, I can go ahead and get my cameras ready and we are going to get working on a super fun project. I'm super excited. Hey, Gail. Hi, Ann Robinson. How are you? All right. Looks like we've had this up long enough. Uh, let's see. Tonight. Hi, McCabe Hall. Hi, Sabrina Gish. How are you? Fall Halloween decor pieces. Yes. Yes, Kathy. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Michelle Olson, you are so sweet. I am not even sure why you are a fan of me, girlfriend. I am a hot mess, but I love it. I have to learn how to be not as awkward when accepting a compliment. Did you guys see what I posted? If you're friends with me personally on Facebook, um, there was a post that said, I'm so awkward when I get a compliment. And it says, stranger, oh, you look really pretty. Me, Merry Christmas. Like, I just thought it was so funny because I never know how to accept a compliment. It's, oh, really? But I sure do know how to get reminders in. Um, I never know how to accept a compliment. It's very, I feel very awkward accepting compliments. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe someone just has to slap me around. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. Okay, so let's go ahead. Now, obviously, it is after th uh, after Halloween. And what's funny is husband, I was like, oh, I really wanted to put this up and decorate with it. But we couldn't because the whole upstairs is being taken over. I was like, what a bummer. And he's like, wait, you're going to erase that? I was like, yeah, man, it's a chalkboard. That's what you do. You erase and you redo. And he's like, 
okay, well, you'd still have the transfer, so that's good. And I was like, yeah, you're absolutely right. Like, I had a super cute little broom stick that I found, but it's all right. We're going to take this off, and we're going to start decorating for Christmas. So all I did was spray this board with a little bit of regular water, okay? Let it sit. I've got my board eraser here, and I'm just going to come in and check out how easy it is to get all of these this chalk right on off the board, okay? That's the cool part about chalk all right? When you're done with the design, you can go ahead and take it right off. Like, it just comes off. Look at this. Our board erasers seriously really, really help with that. So if you don't have any board erasers, you should definitely jump on over to my store and grab some. They are back in stock, okay? So definitely, 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 because look how easy it, it takes the, the chalk paste off. Okay, like, and it helps with shadowing and ghosting. So, like, you will not have a problem with something still being visible on your boards. Okay, I'm trying to do it gently so I'm not shaking the camera. Sometimes you do have to add a little bit of elbow grease, but for the most part, it comes right on off. And just like that, we have a new board to go ahead and start using to make a new project. Easy peasy, right? Easy, easy peasy. Now, here's what else I'm going to do. I'm going to come in with our fuzzing towel, and I'm going to get the microfiber side, and I'm going to come in. Okay, now the microfiber side is opposite of the fuzzing side, not the side with the tag. Keep the tag side up, and I'm going to come in and make sure that all of that excess from my towel is taken up and look at that gorgeous board it's ready to rock and roll and we have an awesome project that we're going to be putting on on this board now we're going to be doing our mistletoe kisses transfer one of my downline Heidi who is so crazy talented someday I'll be her um she did a gorgeous project on it and I said you know what I want to make a project with this now um and I plan to do that. So I am going to do it. This is called mistletoe, mistletoe Kisses, and I am using our 9 by 12 porcelain steel Aiden magnetic chalkboard, okay? So first thing we're going to do is grab our transfer trimmers, and we are going to go ahead and we are going to cut on all of our cut lines, okay? So I love the transfer trimmers because it really, truly helps me cut out my transfers as straight as I possibly can. They're silicone coated or they're, um, they're coated so that your transfers, because they're adhesive back, um, your transfers will not stick to the scissors, which is awesome. Um, so that way you're not wrecking them, pulling them or anything of that nature. They're long blade. So that way you're doing less cutting. Okay. Normally I would use a blade where I would have to cut like eight times to get one eight and a half by 11 piece cut. Okay. It's like, they're just great. So if you don't own our transfer trimmers, you really need to look into getting them. Okay. So let's do this. Now, got my transfer, my transfer pieces all cut up. Now I'm going to label the backs of all of them. As I said, and as you read, um, the transfers are reusable over and over and over again. Okay. So we have to label the back. The back is a uh, paper. Okay. This side that the transfer's on is a, um, it's a shiny, glossy side. Um, so you want to label it so you make sure that you put it back on the correct way. I'm going to call it Big M for Big Mistletoe. And this is going to be the berries. Now, did you guys know that mistletoe berries are actually white? I had no idea until... I want to say it was like two years ago we had a mistletoe transfer that was like our November Club Couture. I had no idea. I had no clue. Someone was telling me like on one of my lives, did you know that mistletoe berries are actually, um, they're actually white. I was like, shh, no way. Like get out of, get out of town. Just get out of town. Okay. I'm just, I'm getting everything. Um, down the way that I want it to be, okay? We're gonna put that up there, and we're gonna put it just like this, okay? 
So I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to actually put that right in the center. I'm trying to see. Maybe I'll do it mistletoe, 25 cents, and then I'll put kisses included like that. That might look cute, right? Or should I layer it on top of this, like over here? And keep that centered. All right, well, here's what we're going to do in the meantime. We do know where the big mistletoe is going to go. All right, so we're going to grab out our fuzzing towel, okay? And we are going to get this on here. We are going to take it off. Now, can you guys see that adhesives, that glossy side? Okay. So we're going to get it off the glossy side. And we're going to fuzz it up on our fuzzing towel. Okay. And we are going to place it down right around where we want it. Now, I'm going to slightly off center it because don't forget, I'm going to do that big mistletoe. Okay. Now, since this is a layering transfer, I do have the crosshairs, or I call them registration marks, right here. So I'm going to make sure that I am going to chalk that. Now I'm going to do my mistletoe in pesto because you guys know I'm obsessed with this color. I do love the sage as well, but I think I'm just going to keep it as just using the pesto. I'm going to use my fine mist sprayer and just add a little bit of the distilled water into it. Do not use regular tap water. Okay, you guys, distilled water all the way with our chalk paste and only distilled water can go into our fine mist sprayer. Okay, because it's got little itty bitty screens in there and the regular water... We'll make it clog. The distilled water is what you need, okay? I'm using this stirring stick, and I'm mixing this chalk paste up to a nice yogurt-like consistency. I know it's yogurt-like when I lift my stir stick up and some drips out. I actually just want a little bit more, and I am ready to rock and roll, okay? So I'm going to get our small squeegee, and I, you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to take some out with the stir stick, and I'm just going to slap it around, just like so. Then I'm going to use the small squeegee and I'm going to come in. Oh, I used way too much chalk paste. Um, see, when it's a good consistency, you really don't need much. And I'm just going to start pulling it across the silk screen area. It does not need to go anywhere else. And I had some bubbles. Of course I did. I always get so excited to chalk, I forget about checking for bubbles. I'm going to go over my registration area, okay, because that way I can line up for my berries. And I'm going to get all of those excess lines off of the project. So now let me just peel the transfer back, just like so. Oh, good. Where I had a bubble, you can't even see it. Boop, boop. All righty. So now it is on there. Now you'll see I went off the screen a little bit. It's no big deal. It's chalk paste. It comes right off. You just use a little bit of water to get it off, okay? So, hi, Kim Stanton. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Linda. I use the transfer to make a mistletoe wreath on... Oh, great idea, Roberta. Yes, mistletoe berries are white and holly berries are red. Yep. Did not know that, Dawn Marie, until a few years ago. Coffee chalking show with Jess and the reminders. Never fails. Right, Dawn Marie? Always have reminders going off. Um, hi, Heather Susan. Hi, Krista. How are you? Hi, Terry. Hi, Lynn Caps. Hello, hello. Good morning. Let me see how we're doing on YouTube real quick. You're a sister hot mess. <laughs> I love it, Laura. We're together. I love it. I love it. Oh, Kathy Toms, you're the cutest. Good morning, Donna Bragg. Hi, Tina Nealon. Hi, Norma Spencer. Hi, McCabe Hall. Really don't, don't know. Oh, okay. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get this all dried up. Okay. And as you can see, I see my registration marks there and there. Let me zoom this in a little bit so you guys can see. Because I, I realize it's a little hard to see it on the black background. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to come in and I'm really going to fuzz my berries up good because I am layering it on top of ch chalk below. Now here's another thing. When you are using a heat tool, you need to make sure to dry your chalk paste. You need to make sure that your board comes back to room temp. If it does not, you are going to be super sad when you lay down your transfer Okay, um, because you're just not going to be happy with it. Trust me when I tell you that. I have learned over the years of things that make my transfers um, and my paste peel up. Just trust me. For what it's worth, trust me. Okay? 
And I'm pretty sure I'm done with my pesto. I'm going to be using some shimmer red, bright white, and some shimmer gold now, okay? So we are obviously going to make our berries in shimmer red because um, I hate glitter, but I love our shimmer. I love our shimmer colors, okay? Shimmer, shimmer paste is the way to be for those who, who fear glitter like I do. Sorry, guys. I have to pull the board up so I can see my registration marks. Okay, this looks pretty good to me. All right. You know, I'm going to tell you a little thing that'll help. When you're doing registration marks, try to use a brighter color. Don't use the, don't use pesto. Like if you could use bright white at all, I would use some bright white um, because it really helps with the registration marks, I think. Okay. This girl is steady screaming. She's got a set of lungs on her like nobody's business. I hope she made a lot of money from this movie. Horse by now, you, know? you would think, right? She probably lived off tea and honey. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm going to come in with my shimmer red, and I am going to put it all over my little mistletoe berries. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? They're supposed to be white. You guys. <laughs> I'm going to put them down as shimmer red, and then I'm just going to go over them in white. What a dope. The mistletoe kisses was supposed to be what I was going to do in the shimmer red. Ah. Oh. Dummy. I could just wash it off and do it again. I really could. Good Lord. Who, who is my, I need a keeper. What do they call them? <coughs> Someone that takes a handler. I need a handler at all times, you guys. At all times. <laughs> Jesus. Ah. Oh. Hot Mess Express, right here, you guys. If you doubted it, you're witnessing it live. Then I am a hot lip and mess. Good Lord. Hi, Michelle Scott. Oy, oy, oy. I'm going to go lightly over it, and maybe it'll just have tinges of red. We'll see what happens. We'll see. And not doubting that it doesn't look pretty at all. It looks very pretty. I love it. But was it my intention to do that? <coughs> Goofball. Miss Wilson, get your act together. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Goodness, you guys. I swear. Maybe it'll have some red undertones. As long as it doesn't look pink. Someone else is getting it in the movie, you guys. I can't, I can't stand horror movies. They're the worst. Like my anxiety level goes through the roof. Remember babe, when we went to go see one of the newer Texas Chainsaw Massacres, like 10, oh God, I think it was before Little Brand. No. Oh, beautiful. Um, and I had to leave the movie theater, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, because it was my, I was so scared and worked up just from the movie. I just couldn't handle it. And I went out and I sat in the car for like 10 minutes. And then I was like, man, if there's a real Texas Chainsaw Massacre, he's going to get me because I'm all by myself. So I went in and sat in the movie theater until it was over. <laughs> Hi, Eileen. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Good morning. Hi, Pam. So, Pam, I have uh, Heidi. I'm making this because I saw your gorgeous project. I gave you a little shout out in the beginning. You'll have to watch the replay. Um, Pam, one is just plain water to clean off my boards. Okay, because I did have a project on this board. 
This is our distilled water in our fine mist sprayer because um, you can only use distilled water in here. And distilled water is what you really should use for your chalk paste when you're adding some water to it because um, it, it really... I've noticed such a, a difference in my chalk paste since I started using distilled water. Um, a, a huge difference. So it, it's just in the consistency, it's just so much better. Um, I, I'm being serious when I say that. I would only ever use distilled water to make my chalk paste, to make my chalk paste um, more, more uh, w to add a little water for the, the consistency. Seriously. Okay, so did I dry the white berries? I think I did. Okay, so get the board back to room temp, okay? I did mine red and now they are, are white in real life. They are, Heidi, that's what I did. I started doing them in red and I wasn't thinking as I was talking. Like a knucklehead. Like a knucklehead, I did it. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make the bow be, um, where should I make the bow? Maybe right about there. I think I'll add it right about there. All right, now I'm going to use the shimmer red to put a red bow on. <sighs> Heidi's on, baby, from North Pole. You, you know, know my Brand Heidi. Like... I know, Heidi. Bram wants to know why you're up so early. That excess back into the jar. Stop it, Roomba. <gasps> Look how pretty the bow is. Oh, I love it. It's gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to put... I think I'm going to do 25 cents kisses included down here and I'm going to do mistletoe right up along the side like that. Or maybe actually I think I'm going to do it like this kisses included and mistletoe. And then that way I could put a little something down here because, 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 because this is a magnetic board. So I feel like I could add a little detail of something. Should I do kisses included? 25 cents. Maybe like that. Maybe like that. We'll figure it out. Hi, Shirley Hess. Dogs. Too, she says dogs. Too many dogs. <laughs> Why she's up so early. That's crazy. Bran says that's crazy, Heidi. Wow. Hi, Trish. Use the chalk pen to go over it. That was a good idea. I should have done that, Trish. Oh, Not the worst thing can happen. Exactly, yeah, Michelle. I was wondering about the color. Could you use shimmer silver instead? It actually took the white perfectly. Um, glitter would have been so pretty on those berries. I know, Kathy. I know. But you know what? Jess doesn't do glitter. Bram wants to know if you have a bobsled, Heidi. A bunch of, well, no. I mean, I'm saying like, she uses her dogs for like bobsled and like the Iditarod. Yeah, I don't know. I'll ask her. I mean, she's up in Alaska. I'm just saying they do it up there. Just, just saying. She has too many dogs. It sounds like a whole team of dogs. Like right. Right. That's so funny. If she lived in Texas, I'd just say she has a lot of dogs. If right. She lives in Alaska. It's like, oh, I'm she has bobsled dogs. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly, Heidi. We are exactly the same. Hi, Mary Spinelli. I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is do the mistletoe like right up here. And then I could put a cute little bow down here. That's what I think I'm going to do. I think that'll work out perfectly. All right, so let's get these last ones on. So we're going to do the word mistletoe in bright white. We're going to do kisses included in the shimmer red. And we're going to do the 25 cents. I think I'm going to do that in the shimmer gold. And I think I'm going to put it like right like that. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll do it after I get these figured out. Okay. 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 
Oh, that looks so pretty. I love it. All right, let's come back. Let's do kisses included. And sh should I do, you know what? I feel like the bow should be the only thing in the shimmer red now that I say it. I think kisses included should stay in, should stay in the white. So that way it pops. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it just like this. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I love it. I'm trying to figure out where I want to do my kisses included. Let's see. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> dog said no, but I have two llamas. That is awesome. I will tell him that. <laughs> Uh, hi, Mary. Thank you, Pam. Hi, Lori Allen. How are you? Let's see. My daughter's wedding was last weekend. Yay, Trish. Congrats. Suzanne Fox, if you have well water or icky city water, the distilled water won't ruin your pace with mold. I'd love to see a pro get so caught up in the project they make a boo-boo. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. So... Let's see. All right. So where do we think I should put the 25 cents, you guys? Should it go here? Should it go here? Should it go down here? Uh, I don't think down there. I think we're either here or here. Left or right, you guys. Comment left or right. And I'll take the, I'll take the highest one. Part of me feels like because they're joining over here, it should be on the left. I don't know. Should I even maybe move Kisses Included to be underneath here? I don't know. You guys tell me. Right, right. Good morning to it, Marie. Oh, everybody's saying right. Okay. Dawn Marie says top left. Let's see what YouTube says. Pam says right. Cat White says right. Even on YouTube, Tina and Megan both are saying right. So we are going to go right. There is majority vote. Perfect. Now, let's do this. We're going to do that in the shimmer gold. I think that'll look really cute in the shimmer gold. Okay, there is that. Nope, I don't like it in the shimmer gold. We're redoing this in white, I think. It's It looks awkward. Nope, we're going to redo that. Hold on, you guys. I thought the shimmer... Yeah, no, no, no. It looks weird with the shimmer gold. We're going to redo that. See, that's the fun part about this. We can just redo. No big deal. Like, easy peasy. Easy, easy peasy to just redo this. Sorry, Shimmer Gold, you were not right for this project. 
So, so sorry. redo that again with the hey Rhonda yeah no gold right the the gold just did not look right let's go with the white instead Much better, much, much better. And then let's get off our little, where's my, let's see where are my Q-tips. <coughs> All right, let's get off our registration marks. Okay. Did this not get wet? Hold on. Did not even wet it at all. That's great. There we go. Now it's wet. Now what I can do is pick a fun... Ooh, let's do it now, actually. Well, I'm on. Let's pick out a fun... Hold on. There is tons of shimmer still on here. I need to get it off with the board eraser. There it goes. All right, let's close up the pastes so that way we can get the bottom part of the board finished. And what I'm going to do, I think it's going to work too. I think it'll be cute if it works out the way I want it to in my brain. Because what did I say? This board is a magnetic board, remember? We're going to do something fun. Okay, watch how fun this is going to be. Hold on. I'm going to get the ribbon that I want to play with. Hold the phone. Without knocking everything over. Oh, that looks so cute. This should be adorable. Okay, so I think... I think this will look cute. And what I want to do is do the ribbon here and here, right? So here's my plan. I'm gonna see if this works. Hopefully it will. The idea I have. I'm going to do the ribbon just like this, right, on the bottom. I'll line it up. Oh, that will look so cute. Okay, hold on. I need my magnetic tape now. Oh, my fingers are too fat to fit in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to add the magnet tape to the whole back of my ribbon. See, it's magnetic, so it'll come off. How fun is that? Oh, I love it. That'll be super cute. And then we can add a little um, 3D embellishment to the bottom of it, like some 
holly berries or some greenery of some sort. Right? Just a little something, or better yet, what we could even do is make like a nice little bow to go on the front of it to make it look like it was part of it, you know, right? Let me see if I do it like this and add some greens. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, hold on. I need some twine. Where are you, twine? Hold on. I'm looking. I usually, I thought I had some next to me. Apparently I don't. Darn it. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. I even have a better idea. Hold on. Even some little jingle bells. Ouch. Instead of some holly. How about some little jingle bells? These are the jingle bells for my Be Merry signs. I can't use these. Hold on. No, no, I like, I like the idea of some holly. Let me, um, I don't think I have any holly yet. That's the thing that stinks. It's all, I think, out in my car. What a bummer. Hold on. Let me see what I got in here. I might have something. One sec, you guys. Oh, I do have something perfect for it. I sure do. Might just have to whip out the hot glue gun. Let's see. Pull over the twine. Look, I've, I bought this beautiful pick at, I think, Walmart. Hi. Okay. Kind of backwards. No, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Let's just continue on with the little bow. That's all we're going to do. It's just a little bow. And I need smaller pieces. And you know what? I know exactly where to find them. Just not currently at this moment. <laughs> exactly where to find them. Just not at this moment. Hi, Laura Woods. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it just like this and do sprigs coming out of it. Hold on. Aw, thanks, Dom Marie. You're so cute. Oh, magnetic tape is so fun. Um, It's by Zyron, you guys. Zyron makes it. It's just called magnetic tape. That's all it is. Um, I ordered mine online forever ago. It's so, they send you such a big piece. Like this is a lot of magnetic tape. You can see it through there. I, I use a little bit at a time. I really don't even use all that much, all that, all that often. Um, so yeah, I've had it for forever, actually. And I love that our Aiden boards are magnetic. So we can do that. Yeah, because I don't want to really put ribbon on my, my gorgeous porcelain steel board. Like glue it. I would never want to glue it down. So this ends up being perfect. Okay. So if we put it like that, have the little two pieces, of, the two cute little pieces of twine hanging down. I have to trim up some of this though. To see if I can push it through the board. There it goes. Push it inside the board. There it goes. 
better. Okay, now I wonder if the magnetic piece will pick up from the thick ribbon underneath. Let's see. Yeah, see, this is where we'll have to glue because it's too thick. This ribbon is too thick. That's the thing with magnetic tape. You have to, you have to be a little careful because it wants, it, it's very thin. So it doesn't pick up on, I'll just use a glue dot for now. That's actually what I'll do. I won't even hot glue it. I'll use a glue dot. Um, the magnetic tape will not pick up through thick things okay so like anything that's super thick it will not work on just FYI okay okay so we've got that there now what I want to do is I know that I have sprigs somewhere but I'll pull out little sprigs of like holly or something and I'll put that down and I'll even put like, I would love to put like a little bell or something there. I just have to find some of the things. I haven't gone out and officially gotten all of my, my add-ons just yet. Okay. Um, but I will get it and I will post a picture. I promise. Uh, but yeah, that, that's, that's the extent of the project. We're done. Don't you think it's cute? I love it. I love it. <clears throat> Yes, pre-cut magnets works too, Kat, for sure. Thank you, Julie. Hi, Tina Neelan. How are you? All right, let's check YouTube. Let's see what's going on over there. Megan, yes, there is going to be. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Some of the greenery from the garland you hauled from Target the other day. That's what I was thinking, but you know what? I don't have it readily available. I had to move it because of everything going on upstairs. So there's that, you guys. Whoops, where am I? There it goes. So here's my project. I'll add some greenery over here. I still have to get the greenery for my All is Bright project. Um, but I love how this turned out. It looks super cute. I love, I love, I love. Oh, Laura, that's the sweetest thing I think I've ever read. Laura on YouTube says, I can see my five-month-old granddaughter holding the sign and her seven-year-old brother holding money for Christmas pictures. So cute. For thick things to hold, you can get the magnetic disc to glue on your thick embellishments. Oh, absolutely, Norma. You're 100% correct. Yes, yes, yes. So cute, you guys. Oh, I love it. I hope you guys loved it, too. Thank you, Lisa. You're the sweetest. Thanks, Cindy. Thank you, Betty. Hi, Kaya. How are you? Thank you, Julie. All righty. So we are all done, you guys. That's my Saturday morning project. Um, if you guys liked what you saw and you are interested in getting your hands on some of these awesome uh, supplies, but you are not currently working with a designer, I would love to be your designer. All you need to do is comment me down below and I will message you the link to my VIP group. In my VIP group, I have so much going on. Yesterday, our chalk, um, our Christmas retreat in a box opened. We already have a bunch of people that signed up. I only have room for 20. I might be able to squeeze it to 25. Um, but if you are interested in getting information on that, comment um, retreat in a box down below. And, oh, hold on, hold on. Guys can still see me. I just had someone messenger call me. Hold on. Let me see. I'm just waiting for it to catch up to make sure I didn't lose you guys. Okay, good. All right. So, um, it, but also in my VIP group, if you just comment me down below, I have try me kits, intro kits, special offers, bundle deals. I have a VIP, um, monthly chalk box subscription. I am opening up for my try me kits, um, for the holidays with our warm wishes minis. Okay. Uh, these are going to be available in my VIP group. Um, you get instructions, you get everything. Okay. Um, so, um, 
definitely comment me down below if you're interested in it. Now, next, if you are interested in purchasing our business in a box and becoming a designer, uh, but you may have I have questions. You're going to want to comment, join down below. First of all, here's our business in a box. It's $99 US or $129 Canadian. It comes with five three ounce chalk piece, seven silk screen transfers, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12 pack of thank you cards, a 12 pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, the gorgeous nine by 12 porcelain steel, eight a magnetic chalkboard that I was chalking on. And our autumn winner went on, whoop, can't talk. Our autumn winter catalog along with the README, okay? Now, this is the kit. You might be saying to yourself, Jess, I definitely am all in. I want to do this, but I've got questions. No problem. I have answers. All you need to do is comment, join down below, and I'll message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, about joining my team, okay? So there is that. Now, Let's talk specials in November. Like I said, November, we have the Last Chance Love Special that's happening live in my online store. Just go to the Last Chance, Chance section and everything in there is 20% off. So you have a 20% off sale, which is super awesome. And there is new things that were added yesterday to that Last Chance section. So don't miss out on getting it. They are while supplies last or until November the 24th, whichever makes it first. So jump on over there. Go grab some stuff. Throw it in your cart. You can get it right from my online store, okay? Hi, Dana. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Um, now, oh, thank goodness. I'm glad you guys can see me. The other thing is, oh, darn it. I forgot to throw it over here. Crap. You guys, our November Club Couture is absolutely adorable. I'll post it in the comments down below. Unfortunately, YouTube, I won't be able to show you. Um, but it says, oh, what fun. It is super stinking cute. I will definitely have it for my next live. So sorry. I could have sworn I threw it over and I forgot to put it into Switcher. Um, but if you're interested in getting your hands on the best monthly subscription service that's DIY and comes right to your door, $19.99 plus tax US, $26.99 plus tax Canadian free shipping. It's an exclusive size B transfer that you can't get anywhere else in three chalk piece singles. Um, it's a minimum of a three month commitment. So if you join in November, you actually won't be billed till December 5th, followed by J January 5th, followed by February the 5th. If you join in November, you can add the Oh What Fun right into your cart right after you add the Club Couture um, program itself into your cart. You also have the ability to add our Kickstarter kit. Our Kickstarter kit is awesome. It's $69.99 US, $93.49 Canadian, valued at over $76 US and over $102 Canadian. Um, it comes with, once again, the gorgeous uh, Aiden Porcelain Steel Magnetic Chalkboard, a board and base, a multi-tool, a small squeegee, a three-ounce bright white chalk base, and those awesome board erasers that I showed you guys. Um, you should also know when you join Club Couture under me, you also go into my private um, Club Couture group, and I make three additional projects every single month with that Club Couture transfer, and it's only for you guys to see how I do it. Um, and last but not least, you have access to four sales from Chalk Couture throughout the year that are only for Club Couture customers, because truly, um, it's an amazing, pro uh, amazing uh, program. So if you are interested, comment Club down below. Now, that's all I've got for you guys. I hope you have an awesome Saturday. I will be back tomorrow morning with early morning chalking and coffee, and we'll make another super fun project. So have a good day, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.